if this Bible is true, and I don't know what family situation you've grown up in or if you've how much you know about the Bible, but I, I personally did not know anything really about Christianity or about the Bible until I was about 17 or 18 when I finally received the Lord into my life. And the way I figured it out was by not figuring it out. The way I figured out this was truth was by experiencing everything else that this world has to offer and realizing that it leaves you completely empty. It's almost more empty on the top, and that's what Damien Hopkins said um, in the movie. You know, he was saying, I made the world tour, and it didn't fill me up. But you know, back to what I was saying, it's more serious than, hey, do you wanna go on a surf trip? Because if this Bible's true, when we die, you're either going to heaven or you're going to hell. I mean, you either have to believe all of this, or none of it. It's either completely true or it's just a big joke. And you know what, guys? It is complete truth. It is black and white. And I've had people say, it's not black and white, man. You know, everyone's going to be okay. And all roads lead to heaven. It's all going to be good. Just as long as you do your best, you know. What if that's not true? What if that's not the truth, you know? And that's what I've come to learn in my life is that this is black and white, clear truth. And uh, Jesus said, he said uh, something that offends a lot of people. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one's going to go to the Father except through me. And um, to not be with the Father is hell. And if you have a Bible and you want to read this later tonight or something, read uh, Luke chapter 16, one of the most powerful scriptures. Um, it's about a, a rich man who dies and goes to hell. And there's a homeless man named Lazarus, and, and he goes to heaven. The, he, they both die, but... When Lazarus, the homeless man, dies, it says that the angels come and they carry him to heaven. But the rich man dies and he goes to hell and he's screaming up to Lazarus and he's saying, Lazarus, Lazarus, come and just give me some water just a little bit. First of all, how did the rich man know Lazarus' name? He was a homeless man. You know how? Because Lazarus lived outside of his house and asked him for food every day. And the rich man said no. Right into the face of Jesus every day, no. And you might be going, Brian, I don't say no to Jesus every day. I don't say no to the homeless guy. Well, every day that you don't respond to God's love, whether it's through a sunrise, a sunset, something amazing, the fact that you can breathe, the fact that you have two arms, the fact that you can see, the fact that you're healthy, you're not thankful for the things he's given you, you don't acknowledge who God is, you're rejecting him every day. And that's what I did for 18 years. And that's what the rich man did. He looked at Lazarus' face day in, day out. Anyway, they both died. And one's in heaven, one's in hell. It's not a parable. It's a true story. There's names. Lazarus and Jesus is sharing the story. And you know what? The rich man cries out and just says, let me go back to life. Let me be raised from the dead so I can warn my family. I'm giving you a loving, gentle warning that this is the truth. That if you die without Jesus, you're not going to be okay. None of us are. Because we've all sinned. We've all messed up. And if you compare yourself to God, you're not perfect. And if you're not perfect, you can't be in heaven. But what's so beautiful is when you receive Jesus into your life, the Bible says that you become perfect in the eyes of God. Not that you're perfect, because I'm not. I'm no Christian here is. But God sees you, and he sees his perfect son covering over all your junk. It's pretty amazing. 